Good evening, my friends. This is Pastor George Pago coming to you from Florence, Oregon, and welcome to Words of Hope. And that's exactly what we want to have is hope. And that's what we need, hope. And I pray that every time we get together that these words that I share with you would encourage you and bless you and just give you a little bit more hope than you had before you watched it. I pray that you had a great day. I pray that you were blessed and highly favored. And I'm glad that we get together every week. And I, I'm excited about this message I'm going to share with you tonight because uh, I did, the longer I'm alive and, and, and the more I see what goes on in the world, the more I realize that you and I need peace. I did the devil, the world situations, even people try to tear peace out of us and get us uh, robbed of peace. And once you're robbed of peace, your whole body and mind just kind of break down. And that when, when there's no peace, there's insecurity, there's fear, there's anger, there's bitterness, there's unrest inside of us. And if you're in turmoil in your inner man, uh, and then it affects your whole life and how you live your life, how you, how you see situations and how you relate to people. And, and I just pray that through this time that we spend together over the next few minutes, that, that if you're somebody that struggles with anxiety or struggles with some kind of a, a depression or insecurity and where there's, there's not a lot of peace in your inner man or at times it seems like you don't have much, I pray that through our time together that, that God's going to remedy that in your life and you're going to be a person of great peace. So the Bible says great peace have those that love the word. And, and so my, my prayer is that tonight as we, as we spend time together that that God, God will open your eyes to see some things and that, that that turmoil that may be inside of you, maybe it's fear, worry, I don't know, but, but that God would, would take that and that he would replace it with peace. You know, in Luke chapter 10 and verse 41, Jesus was on the road to, um, to a, a town called Bethany where there were some friends that lived there. Ma Ma um, Martha, Mary uh, were sisters and, and, uh, and they lived there and Lazarus, their brother, and, and Martha was all excited about Jesus coming. And so was, so was Mary. But Martha was one of these, you know, uh, we got to get everything ready. We, we got to have our ducks in a row. We got to have everything in place. We got to make sure everything's clean and food's cooked and everything is just right. So when Jesus gets here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a perfect uh, environment. And Mary, on the other hand, wasn't like that. And she was excited about Jesus coming, but she was just more interested in the spiritual things and the, and the, the outer, outward things didn't really concern her much, at least at this time. And it bothered Martha. You know, and it's amazing how, how people act or react around us can sometimes rob us of peace. And Martha was being robbed of that inner peace by her sister. And, and so Martha saw Jesus, went up to him and said, Jesus, you got to tell my sister that she needs to straighten up and start helping me and getting, you know, we need to get things done. And, and Jesus looked at her and he just said these words, Martha, Martha. He said, there are too many things that bother you. There are too many things that bother you. And, you know, I, I just think we can all relate to that in some capacity, that people and things can sometimes trouble us and they can bother us. And, and they can rob us of our peace. And then we're frustrated and we're upset, you know, and, 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 and I see it in my own life at times that when people don't act the way I think they should or respond the way I think they should or situations aren't going the way that I would like them to go, I, I get robbed of, of my peace at times. And I have to stop and let the Lord restore that peace in my life. You know, in, in Mark chapter four, verse 39, we have a, we have a, a really neat story about uh, the Lord's disciples and how they were uh, on a boat going across the Sea of Galilee in the middle of the night, a terrible storm came up and, and the storm was uh, very intense. It was so bad that they thought they were going to drown. They thought they were going to die. And there are things that come up in our life like that. They seem to come out of nowhere. They can catch us off guard. And if we're not afraid, if we're not uh, uh, ready, it can cause fear to rise up in our lives. And fear was was uh, raging inside of these disciples because they were afraid of death. They were afraid that they were going to die in that storm. And all of a sudden, Jesus showed up. And when Jesus showed up, uh, he was walking on the water. When he showed up, the very first thing he did was speak peace. He said to the disciples, peace. And man, how we need to hear that. Every one of us 
need to hear the Lord speak peace to our inner man, especially if we're caught up in a storm that that seems to be intense and that maybe we might be afraid that this will lead to death or maybe we're afraid it's going to lead to great loss or maybe we're going to be afraid that that it, it's just not going to have a good outcome. You need to, in the middle of that storm, hear Jesus say, first of all, peace. He dealt with the storm later, but he, he spoke peace into their life. And, and I read something a while back that it stuck with me and it, and it made a big impact on my life. And it goes like this. Sometimes the Lord calms the storm, but sometimes he just calms me. And see, and that's what needed to happen in the lives of those disciples that night in that, in that uh, very angry storm. They needed to have a calmness inside of them. But that calmness was not going to be there if Jesus didn't speak it into their life. And, and now... What was what's really important to realize is that Jesus can speak peace to you, but it's up to you to receive it. You can reject it. I don't want your peace. I'm going to still be stressed and worried and upset. Or you can say, okay, Lord, I receive that peace that you have for me. Later, the disciples uh, uh, on the night uh, of the first day of the week when Jesus had resurrected from the grave and they weren't sure exactly what had happened and what was going on and what the circumstances were, and they were afraid again. It says in John 20 and verse 21 that they were afraid that, that they were going to be killed. They were afraid that, that terrible things were going to happen. And it's amazing. If you allow fear to, to, to rule in your, in your heart and in your mind, then it will blow up everything. Everything will be blown way out of proportion. And Jesus showed up in the midst of that, that group of people, those disciples that were locked behind doors because of fear. See, when, you have, when you're being ruled and controlled by any kind of fear, peace is absent. And so when Jesus showed up in that room that night, the very first thing he said to them in John 20 and verse 21 is this, peace be unto you. And then that calmed, it calmed the disciples, it calmed their inner man, and, and they could settle down. And that's exactly what we need from the Lord at times. When we're in situations that seem bigger than us, that, that seem overwhelming, that seem, seem like it, that, that, that this is something that, that just is not working out and, and we don't know how to handle it. And so we find ourselves in turmoil and anxiety. We, we get upset and angry and bitter, worried and afraid. We need to be still for just a moment and, and hear the Lord. Hear the Lord say, peace unto you. See, we need that inner peace that only Jesus can provide. And, you know, there, 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 there's a lot of false peace out there. People turn to alcohol. They turn to drugs. They turn to medication. They turn to some kind of worldly therapy or something, hoping that, that they could find peace. But I'm going to tell you something. There is no peace like the peace that comes from the Lord because he is the author of peace. Matter of fact, there was a prophecy in the Old Testament about his coming in Isaiah chapter 9, and it said that he would be the prince of peace. He was the author of peace. When, the, when Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, on the night that he was going to be arrested, was walking with his disciples in John chapter 14 toward, toward um, Gethsemane. And as he was walking with him and the disciples had, you know, had no idea what was going on, they, it, the Bible says that it was dark. And, and when things are dark, they're scary. They're, it makes things uh, look, look uh, fearsome. And, and he's walking with him. And, and in the midst of that, that walk, he's sharing the word with them. And he's talking to them about it, it, very important things. And he said this to them. In John 14 and verse 27, he said, Peace I'm going to give you. My peace, I leave it with you. I want you to hear the Lord say that to somebody right now. I want, I want you to hear that word, peace, Jesus said, I'm giving it to you. And, I, and so maybe there's somebody that's going to watch this over the next few days or, or a week, and, and you need to hear this, and you need to, to reach out and say, Lord, I received the peace that you're giving me. It's your peace, and you're going to leave it with me. Don't let the devil rob it from me again. Don't let the devil steal the peace that's mine in Jesus' name. Even at night, you, your brain can, and your spirit can be at peace. In, in, in Psalms 4 and verse 8, it says, I will lie down and sleep in peace because the Lord makes me. And sometimes we have to let the Lord make us lie down and, and be at peace. In Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3, it says this, peace, God will keep you in perfect peace when you just keep your mind on him. 
And so when you put your mind on the Lord and off of uh, the this, this situation you're in, when you put your mind on the Lord and off of circumstances, put your mind on the Lord and away from the people that are causing you trauma and anxiety and, and bitterness and anger. When you put your mind on the Lord and just focus on him, he said, my, he said that he would leave peace with us and he would keep it perfect, keep perfect peace inside of our hearts, our mind and our spirit. And I just pray that you would hear that right now, that you would hear it. I want you to hear 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16, where it says, may the God of peace himself. Listen, God, God is peace. God, peace just reigns inside of him. And it says, may the God of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every situation. Hear that. Somebody needs to hear that. Somebody that's going to watch this need peace. You need to hear the Lord say that I'm the God of peace. I'm the Prince of peace. I'm the author of peace. And I'm going to give you peace right now in every situation, every day, all the time, so that so that you will be able to negotiate life in peace, in peace. You know, our church, as you walk out the sanctuary, over the over the door, the exit sign, there's we have a big uh, a banner, and it says, go in peace. Go in peace. Because if... If you can go in peace, if you can leave church and go back home, go to work, go to your neighborhood, go live your life in this world in peace, then you're going to be okay. And so that's my prayer for every person that ever gathers with us in Jesus' name, every person that watches Words of Hope, that you would receive the peace of the Lord, the peace that passes understanding. That, that means that you're going to have a peace even when you don't understand situations. And so if you... If you were blessed by this, I, I just want you to I want you to hit like. I thank you for watching, by the way, every week. Hit like. Share it with a friend or some friends that maybe need to hear this about peace. Comment on it. If you'd like to watch more of my teachings and sermons, you can go to Pastor George Pagel you, on YouTube. Just Pastor George Pagel YouTube. It'll take you to my library. We have lots of lots of teachings there. And if you and if you like those and are blessed. I encourage you to uh, subscribe. That way you'll be notified every time there's a new teaching out. If you're looking for a church where the love of Jesus and the peace of the Lord, where you will walk into that building and feel and sense peace immediately, I invite you to come visit with us. We're the Foursquare Church. We're on Highway 101, uh, right next to the A&W in Florence, Oregon. And uh, God is doing amazing things. He's doing awesome things. And there's one thing that I'm really noticing lately, besides the love of the Lord is amazing, is that his peace just dwells in that church. When you walk in, I've had people walk in there and they're, they are may be full of anxiety or some turmoil. The peace of the Lord just surrounds them immediately. And so if you're looking for something like that, come join us. We, uh, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, we have a great time, good worship, good word, good fellowship, but mostly the peace of the Lord Jesus. If you're looking for a Bible study, verse by verse uh, Bible study, Wednesday night, six o'clock at our church, you're welcome to come to that. But may God bless you. And I want to speak this verse over you right now. I want to speak this verse again into your life. May the God of peace himself give you peace now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, I pray. God bless you, my friends. Have a great night. Sleep in peace.